It will be the biggest investment in health care in our region and possibly the country. UPMC is spending $2 billion to build three specialty hospitals in Pittsburgh. The new hospitals will focus on cancer, heart and transplant, and vision and rehabilitation. Yeah, the new facilities are expected to have a huge impact on the region and on UPMC's competition like Allegheny Health Network. David Highfield joins us with a look at that. David. Ken and Christine, today's news from UPMC comes on the heels of expansion news from Allegheny Health Network as well. But they are taking two different approaches. Allegheny Health Network is reaching out into the suburban areas of Pittsburgh, but UPMC is creating three specialty hospitals with a $2 billion investment. UPMC Vision and Rehabilitation, that's going to be built near Mercy Hospital, a hospital specializing in heart and transplant care will be built in Oakland, and then the UPMC Hillman Cancer Hospital will be built near Shadyside Hospital. While UPMC is already nationally known, particularly for transplantation, a healthcare expert tells me this is about boosting the brand. I think it's a part of just enhancing the brand, and, and I, I think it, it, in part it's going to be to provide a, a better level of care. Uh, uh, using Microsoft and using technology, but it's really branding it uh, to another level. Meantime, Allegheny Health Network announced last month that it plans to build four neighborhood hospitals, one in the north, one south, one west, and one east of the city, plus a major new acute care hospital in Pine Township. Now, during a taping of the KDPG Sunday edition, the CEO of Allegheny Health Network explained that it's not about not having enough beds, but rather where the beds are. There's plenty of capacity today, but it's not the right beds in the right places as a community and as a region. You know, uh, the community doesn't need another you know, um, high-cost city center hospital. What we need is uh, access to 24-7 emergency care, uh, primary care, and specialty care that's in the neighborhoods that's closer to home. Well, the health insurance expert that I interviewed says that major investments by the area's two biggest health care systems would appear to be good news for consumers if it improves health care. But he says it also comes at a cost, and he says we will have to see how that plays out. We're live tonight downtown. David Highfield, KDKA-TV News.